Hello Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Monday, May 8th. I'm Ben Walsh. And I'm Clark Thornberry, and here's what's going on at BHS. Congratulations to the performing arts groups who performed at the ISSMA State Championships last weekend. The Brownsburg Symphony Orchestra advanced to the finals for the first time ever and finished in the top eight. The Blend was a state finalist in the Concert Univoice Division. The Madrigals placed in seventh place in the Concert Mixed Choir Division, and Bel Canto and Starlight are the 2023 ISSMA state champions in the Concert Univoice Choir Division. Congratulations. Class of 2023 seniors, it's that time of year for BHS TV's annual Senior Glow Up segments. If you'd like to be a part of this year's video, all you have to do is send Mr. Good a message on Schoology and say that you'd like to be included. We'll do the rest. Please let us know by this Friday to make sure your glow up is included in our video. Senior class of 2023, Brownsburg students, teachers, and staff are proud of our 2023 graduates and they want to all celebrate with you. After finals on Wednesday, May 24th, you'll put on your cap and gown and select a Brownsburg Elementary School for your graduation walk. It can be your elementary, the school where your favorite teacher or family friend works, or you can always go to our newest elementary, Lincoln. You'll meet about 1.05 p.m. at the main entrance and then take a parade lap around the school so the students, teachers, and staff can wish you well on your journey after BHS. Let's take a look at this year's final exam schedule. Finals will be from Monday, May 22nd through Thursday, May 25th. On Monday, you will start at your first period class for review, then head to your second period to take your 90-minute final exam. That is followed by your fourth period review session and then half of your fifth period final and then lunch. The day will end with sixth and seventh period review sessions. On Tuesday, you will start the day with your first period exam, followed by review sessions in both third and fourth periods. After that, you will finish your fifth period exam and go to lunch. The day will once again end with sixth and seventh period review sessions. Wednesday and Thursday are half days for students, with your third and fourth period final exams being each on Wednesday and your sixth and seventh period exams on Thursday. School will be dismissed at 11 a.m. on both of these days. Reminder that Any Book Book Club meets this Wednesday at 7.15 in the Media Center. Talk about what you've read and get some ideas for great summer reads. Each year, the BHS staff votes on a staff member and teacher of the year. Congrats to this year's winners, Mr. Douglas and Mrs. Mantu. Here's a little bit of insight on each of them. To be a counselor and win this award signifies that the teaching staff as well as our support staff value what counselors do here each day. I, as well as other counselors in this building, do our best to decrease student anxiety and stress. Our hope is that we help students focus on their academics as well as aspire um, to achieve great things in their future. He's very helpful and he will be there for you whenever you need it. He makes me feel included. He's nice to me. I connect with him more than a lot of other teachers. He taught me to like don't be afraid to be different and just accept myself. I try to use empathy um, when dealing with students. Over the course of my life I've had enough chances to have um, experiences that taught me and from those experiences I believe that what I try to do with our students is give them the opportunity to actually access the wisdom that I have um, from those experiences and not basically be judgmental but let students know that I could understand what it's like to be in their shoes. This room is different than a traditional classroom, obviously. It's all the online work. The students make me look good by coming in here, doing what I ask them to do, and then getting it done. The connection that she makes with the students and getting them across and getting them to finish is, uh, is off the charts. She, she does an exceptional job of making sure that the students understand what they need to do and then getting them done. My favorite part of this job is getting to know the students in a way that I never would have been able to if I wasn't in this small of a setting. She's a team player. Um, she always stopping in, hey, do you need my, do you need my assistance with, with any students? How can I help around the office? The understanding of students and what they're going through in high school and in their lives and just making this a safe place where they can come to get their work done and have a, an ear that's willing to listen all the time to them. We've got a lot of great teachers and staff here at BHS. Congrats to Mr. Douglas and Mrs. Mantooth on being selected as this year's winners. Now it's time for sports. Hey, Lana, what do you have for us today? Hey, guys. Despite the rain and storms over the weekend, we were still able to get several athletics competitions in. Let's get things started with softball team who hosted top 10 ranked HSC on Friday night. The varsity was in a defensive battle all night, and at the end of the seventh inning, the score was still 0-0. Zero zero. 
In the bottom of the eighth, Izzy Neal was able to get on base. Then Lexi Gordon hit a walk-off single to give the Dogs a 1-0 victory over the Royals. Haley Thompson had an outstanding night in the circle, earning the win, giving up only one hit and striking out 11 batters. Nice job, ladies. They will travel to Lawrence North tonight. Good luck. The JV White team was very busy with three games over the weekend, starting with HSC on Friday night. The Dogs came up short of the Royals, and their impressive unbeaten streak came to an end. Carrington Stapp struck out four batters in the game, and Mackenzie Schaub and Aubrey Gallagher each had a hit. On Saturday, the team was able to get right back at it and kept things much closer, but still fell to the Royals 4-3. to Mackenzie Turner pitched a complete game, and Aubrey Gallagher had a triple and scored two runs. Jordan Zollner had an RBI. In their second game, the Dogs got back in the win column, defeating Ron Colley, 7-4. Mackenzie Turner again pitched a complete game and struck out three batters. Mackenzie Shobe had three hits. Rachel Krabs and Megan Ellis each had two hits. They are back on the diamond on Thursday, traveling to Westfield. Good luck. The freshman baseball team had a nice 13-9 win over Lebanon on Saturday. Ryan Murphy went 2-for-3 with two RBI and scored four runs. Carter Reeves had a triple and Dylan Modeski had two hits and an RBI. They are back in action tomorrow at Center Grove. Good luck. The Unified Track and Field team headed to the HCC Conference meet on Saturday. The Dogs brought home fifth place on the day and had several great performances. Aiden Perry ran a personal best on the 400 and Darren Green also had a personal best in the 100 to win his heat. Gabby Street had a new PR in the 400 and Noah Cup had a new PR in the long jump. Congrats, dogs. They will host senior night on Thursday against Arsenal Tech and Perry Meridian. Good luck. And the girls' tennis team was also at conference on Saturday. The dogs finished in sixth and were led by Ava Allen, who was third at number two singles. The number one doubles team of Aubrey Wagner and Ayla Lathrop finished in fourth. The dogs will travel to Plainfield tomorrow. Good luck. We've got a busy week ahead. Good luck to everyone in action. That's it for sports today. Back over to you. Thanks, Elena. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we will see you on Wednesday.